Hello, 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 and welcome back to my video. And today I'll be playing Sherlock Holmes Chapter One again. Right? You might be wondering why am I starting off in this area? Well, because the first place that I loaded in, even though I save on the room where Lady Craven died, is here. So let me just go up in a bit. Okay, let's get right into it, shall we? Now, I gotta examine the body. Hey, hi, John. Why are you here? Alright, you're my ally. Right. Aha! This is the thing that we're looking for last episode. And it's here. How did it end up here? Well, I do not know. But what is this? This looks really peculiar. This must be the missing diamond. A tremendous specimen now forever tainted. It's a $10,000 diamond, I think. Well, with inflation, it's all be like way more than $10,000, right? <laughs> okay, any injuries? There's one. Strangled with bare hands, judging by the bruises. Hmm. Strangulation at hand. There must be fingerprints, right? But I don't know if in this age, fingerprints scanners or like fingerprint you know the thing that checks for fingerprints are a thing maybe maybe not but if that's if that's not a thing then i can just do guesswork why is there a fork on the back excuse me everything was tipped out of the bed as if it was searched i think she stole the stone it's certainly possible but we won't get her confession now well, there is a professional medium right next door. Oh, so the diamond is on Miss Craven all this time. He took the diamond, but... Why? Hmm... Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it, you know that. <laughs> that remains to be seen, but hopefully so. Well, I think you did give an alibi. So maybe. What is this? There's five things here? Excuse me? Fard, Rouge, Calamel, Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the traveling temptress. Okay, just makeup then. What else is there? Why is there five of them? Too shallow, false bottom. Aha, a neat hiding place. Why would she conceal all of this? Oh, is this her personal jewel box or something? Ooh, letters. Several thousand pounds, that's quite a fortune. Is she loaded? I mean, if she's loaded, she doesn't have a reason to steal the $10,000 thingy, right? Uh, what's the name? The jewel. Also, I've seen this before. This is the butterfly pattern that was on the last episode. Hmm, this ring looks out of place among the others, and the design is familiar. Yep. That's probably something that I can make a statement on. Deduction, I think that's the word. Yeah, this one is missing. The butterfly. Bertus or Dactus Abbott. Courage tastes bold. A unique family motto. The mystery deepens. A victim with a checkered past. And poor taste. <laughs> what do you mean, poor taste? Right, for now, let's go to the mine palace. And I... I think I know which one is the mod ring and the mod pin. There you go. Diamond Seance Staff. Oh, okay. Whoever killed Emma left the diamond beside her body. Lord Craven returned to the room just as Emma was hiding the diamond and caught her off guard. Okay, that's something that I cannot pick for now. But I'll check that out later. I may not have enough clues, but I do have things that can be thin. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's see. What do I do? This one first. Can I talk to you about this? Provide evidence. This one. Do you recognize this ring? Should I? That's a third rate piece if ever I've seen one. I'd never buy something like this. Did you ever see Miss Emma wearing it? No. And why should she? 
I gave her enough jewelry that she could wear a superior ring every day of the week. Interesting, okay. So, Lord Craven doesn't recognize the ring. He's certain that he never saw Miss Emma wearing it. So, she just have it in her, what, her bag? And never show it to others. That's pretty interesting. What about this? I found these jewels secreted away. Are you familiar with them? Ah, it cannot be so. That deceptive wagtail. How could she do this? That sounds like a yes. These items were supposedly stolen from us during our trip. I must have spent hours reporting it all to the police. And it turns out she had them all along. The trollop. I'd kill her myself were she not dead already. Hmm. You 9 Palace Clue 2 evidence updated. Lord Craven was extremely annoyed when he saw the jewels. He believed that all of them were stolen during their trip. He had many problems due to the scandals after the taps. He has admitted that he'd kill Emma for such unfaithfulness if she weren't already dead. If he is the killer, then oh boy. If he's not the killer, then he gotta thank the killer, I guess. No connections just yet. Maybe there's one. But I don't want to jump to conclusions. Where does this door lead to? Oh. A remarkably simple lock. Weak lock. I mean, can I even enter the place? Or is it just saying that someone could have entered from this side of the room? Although, what is beyond this area? That I do not know. Ooh, letter regarding compensation. Lord Craven, you promised me compensation for your gross misconduct in order to cover the cost of my treatment and quell the scandal. Yet I have not received a penny. You know that I lost my job after your false accusations. Now, even after my innocence has been proven, I can't return to work because of my hand injury. If you continue to ignore me, I shall be forced to appeal to the court. Hmm, someone's not happy. <laughs> What's with this one? Ooh, the stolen ring? Dear sir, I have to inform you that the theft investigation continues. However, the ring has not yet been found. We had to pre L O Dupont, the serpent, as we were unable to find any evidence of his participation in the crime. We will inform you of any progress in this case. Okay. Couple of things here, huh? That I can pair up using the mind palace. Is it this? Oh. Emma had a history of deceit. Emma was a thief, but made Lord Craven believe that the servants were stealing. She done it throughout their trip. That is suspicious, excuse me. Luca could know Emma was a thief. If their paths had crossed in the past, Luca could well know of Emma's predilection for thievery. I see. No other conclusions that I can come up with. Let's see. Is it this, this? Oh, it is. Lord Craven is an unstable man who cannot manage his anger. Alright. The truth enraged Lord Craven. Lord Craven was furious when he discovered that Emma had stolen from him. Maybe. What about this? Oh! Luca could know Emma set him up. The medium, Luca Galici, could have known that Emma was a thief and that she was trying to frame him for her crime. That's probably it. I don't know. I might have missed some evidence, but I do need to... Uh, someone else. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Also, I was looking at this and oh my god! This game is open world! I know that the game is open world from the description of the Steam store, but... Holy cow! Okay, I get to drive a car at Sherlock Holmes. Well, hopefully I will not like run over people. <laughs> <laughs> ah, because that'll be bad, and this is not GTA. Ooh, outfit, maybe not. Right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The key is in the reception, and someone must have seen him at the bar. Right. 
That's the wrong clue to pin. It's this clue. There you go. Let's just go back to reception and inform this. Hello? Give me the key to Luca Galici's room. I need to talk to him about the events of the seance. I suppose you are an impartial outsider. All right, but please do not give it to Lord Craven. We do not want to see our reputation damaged further. Of course. They still don't know what a nasty surprise awaits upstairs. Hush. No need to cause another ruckus. The last thing we want is the police to come meddling. All right, that. And do I need to ask about someone else? No, right? No dialogue. What about you? Help me, please. That's a question I can answer. Nice. I found a witness who advises that Lord Craven spent only a short time in the bar after he left the seance room. Okay. Mind Palace, new Mind Palace clue, Lord Craven's explanation. Right, I think that clue is done. Now, what am I missing? Ring with mod design. And Miss Emma's body. This and this. There you go. Lord Craven had time to kill Emma. Lord Craven had enough time to kill Emma before I arrived. A window of opportunity. The murderer had time to kill Emma while Lord Craven was drinking downstairs. Maybe try this one. I don't like how the mind palace kind of pops in and out because I think that's just saying that I can come up with a conclusion right here and now. But I have not explained or explored everything, I guess. I'm afraid I can wait no longer to hear your account of the seance, Mr. Galici. So please, tell me what you saw. Lady Craven wanted to meet the spirit of the Raja. My conjuration was successful. Perhaps even too successful. I am sure the spirit was the only one who could have taken the diamond. Lord Craven needs to leave me alone. Do you think the police will believe you? Of course. I didn't take anything. And spiritual phenomena are beyond their control. Or should I summon the ghost again so they may attempt to handcuff it? I think I would prefer to begin my investigation in the physical realm. Alright, I haven't observed him yet. Let's see now. Ooh. Slight discoloration, use of a lot of makeup. Bleeding nose. Well, yeah, he got punched. What are you reading there? Thin, elongated fingers. Train in sleight of hand. Maybe like a thief or a magician. Drawn complexion. Skinny. Seems malnourished. What about your shoe? No. Why am I so fixated towards people's shoes? <laughs> well, it kind of like shows where they have been, right? If it's muddied or not. Scratch wrist. Fresh scrapes. Slightly bleeding. The Galici is lean, malnourished, use makeup, illness, hand slim finger, use skill and conjuring tricks, use to manipulate concealed items. There's fresh scratches and scrapes on his wrist from a recent and short fight. I think he tries to be his best as medium, but his business doesn't go well and he sometimes has to go without food. Lean, yeah, heavy punch. And then fingers, teeth, delicate work of pickpocketing, use makeup, cowl, tattoos, press scratches and scrapes, use in short fight, I believe more criminal. You know what? I tried playing Kain last time with the portrait and I got most of them wrong. <laughs> so let's try the opposite on this one. Former thief became a medium. Both options are equally probable, but I think this makes more sense. I actually do not know. I don't have a 100% conclusive answer to this. All right, let's do this one. There you go. I have shocking news that changes your situation entirely. Oh, no, wait, what am I thinking? The spirits will have told you this already. Not in the necessary state for summoning. The spirits prefer clarity of mind and soul. Please, tell me. Lady Craven died in the very next room while you were in here. Did you not hear anything? What? How? I... In fact, I did hear noises. 
That craven is a very loud man. But I never thought he would do that to his wife. Well, you claim to be a medium. Perhaps you could ask her spirit why. What? No, it's uh, too dangerous. Oh, well, at least I can make the dead talk. Right, I think that's a bad answer. <laughs> Maybe now that I think about it, I should have went with the other option. Those scratches on your hands look rather painful. What happened to you? It was those savage servants. They were so rough bringing me here as if I was trying to escape. When I'm free, I'll demand compensation. The servants? Really? Okay, um, right. This one. That's a remarkable pin of yours, Mr. Galici. Does it have any meaning? The butterfly? It's a reminder of a time in which I was truly happy. What a coincidence. Lady Craven had a ring with the same design. Oh, a coincidence indeed. <laughs> I suspect it is a common theme in jewelry. Yeah, that seems kind of suspicious, but not really 100% definite. Do you always travel with your books, Mr. Galici? I do. In my line of work, one needs resources available to help deal with the unpredictable and unworldly. Hmm. Someone is making the most of his stay. Can you blame the man? I'd say he's not ordering enough. <laughs> A familiar Ooh. substance. It's the ectoplasm that stained the seance table, but this time, there's enough for analysis. How do you do analyze this over your casebook? All right, let's see. Chemical analysis. Oh, oh, okay. Create the target formula on the right. Drag on an operation. Bring your results. Combine the result matches with target formula. Okay, so it's like this and this, this. Um, link this to you. Link this to you. Do this. Yes. That's not that hard. Rubber latex mixed with phosphorus. As much as this chemical element is dangerous to hold in the mouth, I am quite disappointed. I expected to find something trickier. My faith in this medium has burst, just like a rubber balloon. <laughs> ah. Tools and accessories for masterful prestidigitation. Okay. I think or, that's all that I can check. Or weapons and defenses against visitors from the great beyond. I mean, maybe. Dear Luca, I hope you have time to visit our estate and perform another seance. Since I was last able to speak to my husband through you, I feel that my life has changed completely. I cannot wait until I can speak to him again. I'm anxious for your visit. Okay, wait. His seance works? Any other thing? Well, I gotta inquire him about the ectoplasm sample. This one. Do you realize just how dangerous it is to hold phosphorus in the mouth? I beg your pardon? I'll bet it makes your rubber balloons glow impressively in the dark, but you'll regret it when the hypertension and vomiting sets in. You mock my talent, sir. You shouldn't be so flippant about things beyond your earthly understanding. How ignorant one must be to compare a spirit's ectoplasm with balloons. It was merely a word of caution. We both know how match factory workers look after several years on the job. All evidence collected. Okay. Um, right. Facebook. Wait, I've collected all evidence? What about this? Excuse me? Miss Emma? Oh, I cannot enter through this area. Luca and Lord Craven were neighbors. This, this? The lock between the two hotel rooms was weak. Luca will take it easily. Right? This, this? Emma left the scratches on Luca's hands while fighting for her life. And this, this? Luca's scratches were left by servants while roughly escorting Luca to be locked in this room. The serpents mistreated and scratched him. Yeah, I've collected all of the evidence. So now I just need to make a conclusion. Right, how many conclusions 
can I make from this? This is one. Luca Galici is the murderer. Emma tried to frame Luca, the medium, for her theft of the diamond. In revenge, he killed her. There's also this. Lord Craven was furious when he discovered that Emma had stolen from him. Lord Craven is the murderer. Lord Craven has problems with his temper. He strangled Emma in a fit of rage when he found out she was stealing from him. Hmm. Now that I think about it, Miss Emma did fight for her life before she dies. So there should be some kind of an indication that should point me to the right direction, especially maybe regarding like the bruises that they have. There's nothing really new about Lord Craven, but about um who's the person again? Luca. He did get the scratch. He did get scratches, but it's either from Luca. Or it's, le it's left by the servants. But if I were to look at it, the scratches are really deep. Almost as if it's kind of unlikely that any regular servants will do that. So I'm more inclined to think that Luca is the murderer after all. Based from what the clues that I have and my logical thinking. There are other factors as well, such as, which one is it? I think the one that I'm thinking of is, well, Luca is not really a master of mediums or something. He kind of scams people. And to the exact same ring that he has and Miss Emma has, he claims that it's a piece of common jewelry, but the ring itself is pretty old. Well, it is cheap. But it's also really old. Like, if it's common, wouldn't it be like a little bit newer? Because, like, it can be mass produced. And I think Emma, Miss Emma, is still pretty young. Oh well, right. Okay. I cannot really see Lord Craven being the one because Lord Craven has no scratches markings on him either, so no evidence of a fight. So the most likely answer that I can come up is Duka. <laughs> now, after that whole ordeal is done, what should I do? Bring Luca Galici to justice or help Luca Galici escape? Luca Galici is a murderer. He couldn't stop himself from killing Emma, even though he could have just told the police everything. Luca fought for his life, even his checkered past. If he were arrested, nothing could save him from a death sentence, and Emma knew it. I will not stop him from fleeing to start a new life. This is a rather tricky one. What conclusion should I go for? Just like, Emma herself tried to frame Luca, right? Now, this is more of a personal taste. What answer do I really want to go for? Emma tried to frame Luca the medium for her theft of the diamond, but Emma has it all along. That kind of means that Luca doesn't really need to do it, right? If they find the diamond is in Emma's possession, all of this would not happen, right? Well, not, not really, but like, Luca wouldn't be getting a death sentence. I think he's just like fueled by anger or by desperation, but like, if you think about it, if he just say that like he doesn't know where the diamonds are and then like the police eventually search for Emma and they found it, then Emma would be the one that's in big trouble, right? Because as Lord Craven said that if he knew that Emma was stealing, he'll be like, he, he has an intent to kill. <laughs> but at this point, he has no like before he died, he has no reason to kill her, I think. I mean, there is, but I don't know if Lord Craven found out the hidden stash of 
the stolen things. Right, yeah. I did like do several instances of the previous game, right? Where this thing also happens and I let some of them scot free because it's either because of self-defense or because of like really, really unfortunate circumstances. But I feel like this murder is really unnecessary. So I think the best option is to yeah bring Luca Galici to justice. I am sorry. <sighs> yeah. Oh wait, what? Excuse me. Can I not use this? Do -do 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 -do. Let me accuse you. Luca Galici, I know you murdered Lady Craven and I can prove it. That would be a grand story for the newspapers. But where's your proof? I was locked in here and could not hurt a fly. Mm. Your wrists are bloodied and there's no way a servant's manhandling could cause such an injury. It was Lady Craven as you strangled her. You are... You are fantasizing, Mr. Holmes. As for the motive, it's obvious that you deduced that Lady Craven was the real thief. Of course, it helped that this was not your first encounter with Miss Emma. Uh, I am... Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. How on earth can you believe this? I think the police will easily find the proof when they browse their archives. Yes, yes, the locked room. Good of you to mention it. I inspected the door between the rooms, and the lock on it is piteous. You could open it with a penknife. So I am now a burglar, as well as a thief and a murderer? It is done, Luca. You will be arrested. Your best strategy now is to confess and hope your reasons were justified. I... I... <sighs> I don't know how you figured it out. But yes, I killed her. I had to. This woman could not get away with ruining my life twice. Twice? I knew Emma before she was a lady. I mean, she pretended to be noble back then too. But only so our gang, the Moths, could steal from those snobs. She betrayed us, stole all our money and disappeared, leaving us to rot in jail. I was young. I spent three years in that hell. And tonight she tried to set you up again. Did she recognize you? She didn't. I came to her afterwards, pleading that she drop this farce, but she laughed in my face. I just remembered my time in the clink, all I suffered while she indulged. Then I grabbed her throat. Oh. Murder is murder, Luca. You could have told Lord Craven the truth and seen Miss Emma's downfall, but you could not restrain yourself. He would never believe me. We will never know. Still, perhaps a jury will be more easily swayed. If not, you'll get to see your friends in jail again soon. We'll meet again, Holmes. I will get you, in this life or the next. Get your hands off me. <laughs> he murdered the woman who put him in jail. Should we be worried? Fear not, John. Unlike Miss Emma, I will see him coming. What do you mean by that? Like he's going to be free or something? A mother's law. As the receptionist about my room, it's time to visit the cemetery. Okay, wow. That is a case solved. I did not think that I would get the right person though. <laughs> but wow, okay. So I think the letter that was written to... Lord Craven was from Luca about like his job. Wait, no, I don't think his job is ruined. His job is like a thief, right? Uh, I don't know. You know what? What's done is done. And I'm glad that I got the right answer because it's all just guesswork, but the highest probability wins. That was too much fun, Sherry. Ooh. I'm buzzing. Buzzing. Wasn't it fun? A woman died, John. I was too slow to the truth, too hesitant to intervene. How 
can you? Oh, lighten up. Those people made their choices. If you swan about with a diamond in your pocket, that's what happens. Wealth is a weakness, so we must blame those who covet it. With enough money on the line, Sherlock, a man will do just about anything, even murder, and then we get to solve it. I suspect you perhaps cannot grasp the true horrors of mortality, John. Oi, I am aware of my perilous existence, thank you very much. Mm, I must admit, even if the outcome of the adventure was imperfect, there was some pleasure to be had in the puzzle. Well, Cordona seems more depraved and decadent than we thought. I bet you'll get another chance. A bet, you say? A uh, figure of speech. Just a figure of speech. Ah, damn. Well, take one last look at the view, then we must be off. It's time to do what we came here for. Is this where the open world part starts? And I only get... Is that 80 million or is that 80 like... English pounds or something? Hello? Can I not enter my place again? I guess I've stayed there for a day, right? That's how hotels work. But I do wonder what happened to Lord Craven. I spent one night at Il Palazzo del Luso and fell into a criminal investigation. That's not how I imagined my time on Cordona, but the thrill of the case helped to distract me from darker thoughts. Now it's time to go to the cemetery in Miner's End. There's a figure of a crying angel on Mother's tombstone. Oh, okay. Pin that evidence. Place it on the map. Ask the receptionist about my room. Hello. A free ride for every hotel visitor. Just tell me where to go. Oh ho! Okay, I don't need to go to the reception anymore. I'll, I'll just go straight to the cemetery. Is everything all right? If you don't feel up to it, I won't tell anyone. It's just a goodbye, John. It won't be difficult. I've already come to terms with my mother's passing. Hmm. So you really don't remember? To what do you refer? A funeral. Sherlock, you were distraught. At first, I thought this visit would dredge up those feelings, but you've been remarkably level. John, I, I think I was too young to understand. I couldn't fathom why she would leave me. Perhaps that pain is best left forgotten. On the contrary, it's why I'm visiting her grave. To remember her. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. Hmm? Concentrate? Like, the concentrate button? Who are you? Are you holes? Mycroft was adamant. Mycroft was adamant that we leave for London immediately after the funeral. He never told me why, but I saw how unsettled he was by the long requiem. Okay. And then he's going this way. The service was sparsely attended. Though my parents were buried separately, the pastor said they're united in heaven. I didn't believe him even then. <laughs> Remembering the funeral, okay? I wanted to see her one last time before the coffin was interred and say how I loved her. The chance never came. I, I feel I rather faint. You're fine, you're fine. It's over now. You remembered everything. It will get easier soon. <laughs> Alright, Holmes. No pressure. Well, no pressure at all, but... It's fine to cry. This is your mother's grave. So, what am I supposed to do? Alright, the flowers, right? Here we go. Asters. 
we just place it in from the graves or a pocket watch it seems familiar john why is it here Pocket watch? Mysterious visitor. Pilot Holmes is grave. Hmm. Wait, you're saying that the pocket watch isn't something that's normally here? What is it saying? This watch was a gift. My mother's initials are engraved on it. The piece is in good condition. It must have been placed here only recently. Maybe there's someone else that's close to your mom. Rest in peace, Violet Holmes. Goodbye, mother. Well, hopefully you'll be able to see her again in one way or another. A candle in a small puddle of wax cannot have been lit for more than half an hour. Is this really how you want to spend this time? This is my mother's pocket watch, John. Who put it here and why? Are you not in the slightest bit interested? Someone has visited the creep. It's my mother's watch. The candle was recently lit. Oh. A man in fashionable shoes stood near the tomb. The size of the prints suggests he is approximately five and a half feet tall. It's my mother's watch. The candle was recently lit. A man wearing shoes approximately five and a half feet tall. Oh! -ho. You were about to tell me the make and model of tire, but let me assure you, I do not care. Hmm. Oh, that looks going to be very impressive. Come on then, the trail continues ahead. Alright, jeez. You don't have to say it that way. Whoa, what is that bicycle model? I forgot that all bicycle models used to be so absurdly tall. There it is. He mustn't be far away to leave it unattended. Is it a bicycle? It's stained with oil paint. Mm -hmm. What's this one? A portable easel was kept there. Oh, a portable easel. Maybe like an artist? And this is an image of what exactly? The hospital equipped. If memory serves, they're located at the far end of the cemetery around an old tree. Alright, um, anything else that I can check? Let's see... Ooh! I hope that inspiration strikes upon visiting these beautiful vaults. At the very least, you'll enjoy the view. Yours, Mercuria. An artist working in a cemetery. Do you think he'd paint my portrait? He's working at the cemetery. I don't think he'll do that. Well, I mean, he might, but it is very unlikely. Oh, hey, are you the person? Oh, it's that ridiculous artist from the hotel. Be nice, Sherry. Oh, nice. it's this person again. Hello. Mr. Holmes, did you come for another portrait? <laughs> no, no, I jest. You gave quite the performance last night. The hotel was abuzz with your name. I must say I was rather absorbed in it all. The fallibility of men. Such scandal. It was a welcome distraction. Oh, my manners. I am Werner Vogel, art enthusiast and gallery proprietor. Mr. Vogel, I was perhaps too curt when last we spoke. Speak no more of it. 
travel takes it out of any man, never mind when this is your destination. Once I learned who you were, the pieces fell into place. Your mother was well liked on Cadona in her time here. I was sorry to hear of her passing. Does your gallery feature more than just portraiture? Oh, of course! We display landscapes, sculpture, modern pieces too. I'm sure we have something that will move you. You must stop by. Only music moves me, I'm afraid. Then you have simply not found your artist yet. Someone whose work hits you in your core. You're still young. I'm sure we'll find them. Well, this is the game before Sherlock Holmes becomes the Sherlock Holmes on Baker Street, I think. How did you come to possess my mother's pocket watch? Oh my! It is quite something to witness those powers of deduction firsthand. Yes, I... I left you her timepiece. After her death, there was an estate sale. All of Cordona's elite picking of her remains. I couldn't let such a lovely thing go to those vultures. When I learned your name, I could no longer keep the watch in good conscience. It is yours by right, and I knew you'd find it here. Thank you. I've forgotten all about it, but the moment I saw it, I knew it was hers. Amazing what the young mind forgets and the older can recall. Rather odd, loitering in a cemetery. I suspect you'll win, but I'm here for my art. There's beauty everywhere if you look, even in decay. A little darkness brings out the light. Now, a diligent observer might note that you too were loitering in a cemetery. What brings you here? Closure answers penance? Closure, I suppose. And what is closure? Mere proximity? Understanding. Acceptance. You didn't understand from afar. You had to come here to accept the truth of her death? Of course I understand. She died of consumption drowning in her own blood. Your mother? Yes, my mother. Hmm. I must have been misinformed. I'd heard otherwise. Otherwise than consumption? No, no. You'd know better than I. I'd heard talk of a police investigation, but Cordona is a notorious gossip. And what does it matter? She's passed on either way. She has. Well, I shall intrude no longer. I'll leave you to your closure. Do stop by the gallery if your travels permit. Farewell. Ah. Are you alright, Sherry? Take as long as you need. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever I need, it isn't here. We should explore Cordona. Perhaps there are archives that may shed further light. The archives at the City Hall, Police Station, and Cordona Chronicle may hold key information for your case. When investigating a piece of evidence, think about which location is the most appropriate to visit. I see, okay. So I have to take a trip there to find evidence or look at history stuff. My imaginary friend John. John has been my friend since childhood. I cannot remember a time without him. He cannot accept that only I can see him. Excuse me? John is not real? Wait, who's, who's writing the notes then? So Sherlock is just alone all this time? And the reason that John can teleport through everywhere is because John is imaginary? I did not think that that would be the case. As much as I want to continue, I think this is the right time to end this video right here. I completed a case and I found a shocking revelation about who John is. I thought like John is like John Watson, you know, the partner of Sherlock Holmes. But no, John in this game is literally just his imagination. Props to him because having an imaginary friend when you're like pretty old is such an uncommon occasion that it's really impressive to see. Pretty interesting as well because like there's a section that just says John's diary which is supposed to be what John writes but John is not real so maybe Sherlock Holmes is the one that's writing that. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. I really cannot wait to see what's going to happen on the next one. Next one is probably me trying to 
grasp the aspect of open world in a Sherlock Holmes game because wow this is going to be interesting <laughs> how many laws can I break do I even break laws do I just like take a taxi or something that I do not know but in the meantime I'll see you in the next video bye bye